Hello, my friends. It's me, Christina Alabato, Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls on Broadway. And I, oh, I feel like you all know how I'm feeling and I know how you're all feeling. Um, I just wanted to come on really quick today. This is going to be a really short video just to say hi and um, I don't know, to come together for a second and just chat about the unfortunate closing notice of our show Mean Girls on Broadway. Yesterday was such a tough day. Um, definitely spent all day crying and that is totally okay. Um, but for those of you that didn't hear the news, um, unfortunately the Broadway company of Mean Girls will not be returning um, after the shutdown ends um, in New York City. It's really, really... I, I honestly, I don't even have words for it. I just wanted to come on here and, and be here with you all. Um, I've, there are so many amazing messages that I'm getting flooded into my Instagram that bring me so much joy. I'm trying to get through all of them. Um, but even to see all of your tags and posts about how much the show impacted you and how much it meant to you makes me feel so like nothing but grateful that I got to be a part of it, um, it, let alone getting to be a part of it for an entire year. I feel so fortunate that I got that opportunity. Um, a lot of you have been asking why, what are the reasons? And I think, you know, every show is at a different journey in its life, right? I think as an actor, you go into this business knowing that those kinds of decisions are completely out of your control. So I, you know, yesterday was a really, really hard day. We had our entire cast, company, crew, creative team, everybody on uh, on a phone call. And, um, and, you know, those decisions are decisions that our producers and the people in charge make. They make those calls for whatever's going to be best for the show and for the longevity of Mean Girls as a whole. So, um, you know, I think I wish there was an easy answer as to why... Even for myself, you know, I, I will miss the show so much, but I trust that, you know, even though this is so sad that this is how and what was supposed to happen for Mean Girls on Broadway. I think from the beginning of this, as a person who is very thoughtful and I am a very pragmatic person as well as emotional, I definitely knew that this was going to be an option. Um, for any, you know, for anybody in the arts, it's like we're going day to day trying to get through this incredibly difficult and impossible time for live performance. How Broadway is going to come back is all of us coming together and doing the right thing right now. Please, please continue wearing your mask and social distancing. And I think even though Mean Girls uh, is not going to make it, other shows can and other shows will. So continue supporting um, Broadway and the arts as much as you can and just stay patient. Um, but for all of you Mean Girls fans, I love you all so much. Look, I'm going to cry. You have totally made my last couple of years and my year in Mean Girls so special. And um, you made me feel so welcome as a replacement and I've never had more fun in a show than being Gretchen in Mean Girls. And it's something that I'm going to hold with me forever and I'm never going to forget it. And it it truly changed my life. It changed my life as an actor. It changed my life as a person. Um, and the whole community around Mean Girls, especially with all of you, has been so, so special. And I hope that you know, we see each other again at the stage door at a different show. Mean Girls is continuing on the road, so you can see it in a city near you. And we love our road family too. And we're so, so happy that they're going to continue the show. Um, but just know that all those memories we have together on Broadway and the camaraderie that we built doesn't go away just because we're closing and not coming back. But anyway, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to come on and tell you all that I love you all and I'm so grateful that I got to do this and that you all were there for it. So thank you from Gretchen Wieners. I will miss her so much. I think that's something that is actually the hardest part about this. It's not all the like craziness around it. It's that for those of us that aren't going to go back, we didn't really get to say a proper goodbye to the show or our characters, but seeing all of the things you're posting and looking at pictures and videos Oh, it makes me so happy and it makes me feel like, okay, and that, you know, I knew Gretchen so well and you all knew the show so well that we get to celebrate it together and 
that it will always be there. So I'm going to spend the next couple of days celebrating on my Instagram. You can catch a bunch of, I'm going to release a bunch of photos and videos that I have not released yet. Um, and once kind of the dust settles, I'll come back on here and do a really big Mean Girls YouTube video to say goodbye. But it's not goodbye. I'm going to talk about Mean Girls for the rest of my career and forever on on my Instagram. It's a huge part of my life. Um, and yeah, I just can't say thank you enough to all of you. So I love you all so much. Keep your chins up. Broadway will return and it will be a joyous, joyous, joyous moment when we get to be in front of audiences again. That's all from me. Uh, Gretchen Wiener signing off for the last time. Though I'll always be Gretchen Wieners in my heart and in my mind. Yeah. Um, you won't be losing me at all. So stick around on my channel. Um, and I love you all. Thank you so much.